generational curses and family karma. Is it worth solving other people's problems? This is a complex ethical issue. Firstly, it may not be safe for you to get involved. If you interfere with someone else's karma, there is always the possibility that you will have to deal with it yourself, you have to understand that. If fate has bypassed you with such a kin program, if you're not affected by family karma, but one or two generations of your family have to go through it, then they have to. That is out of the question. You can only try to influence it, if you know how. First of all, you must protect yourself and your children, that's the most important and sacred task. But your sister is not a stranger to you either. So you should explain to her that in this world, every man is for himself, and she will either sink or swim. And the only thing you can do to help your sister is to advise her on how to deal with the curse. And how do we deal with generational curses? Throughout history, such matters have been resolved by making redemptive sacrifices, that is, your sister, who may be the last bearer of the curse, or your grandmother, who also bears the seal of the curse, if she is still alive. Is your grandmother still alive? No, she's already dead. Then your sister must perform the ritual to transfer the curse from herself, to another person. And in this case, anyone, including an animal, is considered a person. It's a special ritual that has to be done by a master for you. You wouldn't be able to do it yourself. Your sister should initiate the process. And with your help she will need to find a suitable master to perform the ritual to transfer the curse. I will explain the essence of the process. The meaning of the ritual is that the cursed person is connected to the victim by the bond of blood, and through this bond the curse is transferred to the victim, who must then be killed. This is how the ritual of transferring the curse works. Usually such a sacrifice, a dog, a pig, a sheep, becomes a blood relative of the cursed person for five minutes. And then it has to be killed, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. In this way, the curse can be lifted with the help of transference magic, but, I repeat, this can only be done by a high-quality master, because such a ritual releases a tremendous burst of energy, the space has to be protected, it has to be supported by forces. So you can't do it alone, I'm not going to do it alone. But I have a feeling that if I try to talk to my sister about the curse, she will run to the church to atone for her sins. That won't help. If a person who has cursed has put all his grief and anger into it and hasn't called on the name of Christ but other names, it won't help. So don't even try. You see, your honor and morality oblige you to help your sister solve this problem. Actually, I feel like I should leave everything as it is. You can leave everything as it is. But it would be better to give your sister a chance, to explain to her what needs to be done and to offer her options. Of course, it's up to her to decide what to do next, you can't do it for her. But if you could help her with words, advice and guidance, I think that would be the right thing to do. I'll try to talk to her. If she were a stranger, there would be no need to say anything unless she asked. But since she is your blood sister, you have a vested interest in this matter. Because a lot of things in your family depend on her behavior. This has an indirect effect on the whole family, and her ignorance may partly affect the existential volume of the entire bloodline. That's why it's better to give her a chance and an opportunity to stop being so unreasonable and start acting wisely. So try to do your best. At least you will have clean hands and a clear conscience. The rest is up to her. Generational curses are common. So don't make women angry. Treat them with respect and honor. 
You never know what kind of witch is hiding inside that little female body. Sometimes she can cast a curse so powerful that it takes not seven but forty generations to break it. If those generations survive, of course.